Well, g'day and welcome to the channel. I'm really excited because I might get to see one of Australia's most beautiful parrots, the superb parrot. There's reports of that bird in this wetland. I'm in a place called New Merca, which is about an hour 20 from my place. So I got up 3.30 this morning and I've driven, I've arrived. I've never been here before, so it's gonna be fun to see what sort of photos I can get and how I go about finding this bird and trying to get some photos and I'll bring you along with me. Now I'm excited to be using my Canon R5 and 500mm lens. I haven't used that in ages and I've also got the R7 and 100 to 400. So it's in my backpack. I've got some gear because it's a wetland so I might get some water birds. So hopefully we'll get parrots and water birds. So it's a bit of a walk I think to get to that area. So let's start walking. So we had this, the sun's coming up, we've got kangaroos in the long grass. And I'm just seeing if I can make a shot out of it. I've got the R7 and 100 to 400. Some backlit kangaroos. Hopefully a couple of those shots work. The kangaroos are just a little bit too far away, unfortunately. All right, so I've just been walking in this wetland and I've come upon this area in front of me, but there are a lot of birds in this area here. So I'm thinking it's gonna be difficult to get close, but ideally I need to get down low. The sun is coming this way, so I might I can see a bit of mud over here that I might be able to lay on. So I might give that a whirl. Give it a go. So I can see crakes in and around this area. So I just need to find a position where I can lay down. And just wait for them to come to me. So I've got my R5, I've got the adapter, I've got the 1.4 converter, and I've got my 500 millimeter lens. And there's a crate just over here. Oh, beautiful. Got a little spotted crake. Oh, what a beautiful little bird. So the sun hasn't hit the area yet, so I'm having to shoot at ISO 3200, 1 400 of the second. Oh, there's another crate behind. Superb parrots! Superb parrots! Did you hear that? Superb parrots. Oh, there's crakes behind me now as well. a Ballion's Crake as well, which is one of our smallest crakes. Oh, this crake is getting very close. This is what I mean about lay and wait and these birds will come to you. All right, so I'm just gonna put my monitor on.
I have never seen this many crakes in all my life. This is incredible. All right, so as you can see, I'm down nice and low. I forgot my wet weather pants, so I'm gonna have very wet pants today laying in the mud. And I'm just gonna lay here and wait. And hopefully these crakes, they don't seem to be too bothered. Because I'm down low, they'll come to me and I'm just waiting for a bird to come in to the sun. And let's hope we can make a shot. Yes, yes, go, 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 keep walking. Oh, that's beautiful, there we go. Lovely, absolutely beautiful. Oh, gee, this big lens just smooths out that background. This is gorgeous. So sometimes we just have to wait for the bird to go into the right place. That's the key is knowing, just keeping your eye on the subject and waiting for it to sort of take itself into an open area away from distractions. Well, I think we just got some really good shots then, so that's a great start. You know, it's funny, this year's almost come to an end, and I think this is the first time I've used this lens this year, which is a bit of a shame because it's such a beautiful lens, but I've been so busy testing other lenses and using my zoom lenses that I just haven't bought the old Prime out, and it's instantly <laughs> reminding me just how good it is. Those backgrounds just dissolve and it gives me lots of reach. It's just so heavy and so big, but absolutely beautiful. I'm in that dilemma where I've got a shot here and I'm, I don't think this is the best spot for me. I just feel like somewhere else might be a bit better. I've moved locations and now I'll just wait. Got this beautiful little Balian's Crake. All right, so we might have got some Balian Crake shots. I've spotted the spotless crake. If I can get the spotless crake, we'll be in business. It's a beautiful spring morning here. It's not too warm, it's not too cold, it's just perfect. There's no wind. I can hear reed warblers. I can hear crakes, I can hear ducks. Let me know in the comments if you hear something that I haven't heard. Pigeon, crested pigeon. There's a buff banded rail. It's miles away, but it's backlit. Oh, that's cool. We just had buff banded rail. I don't know if the shot worked. It's a long way off, but it's kind of backlit. It might come up okay. Got a reed warbler. So what's going through my head at the moment is, where's the light? Where are the birds? And where can I put myself in the best position for a shot? I'm struggling a little bit at the moment because like the birds that I'm seeing are covered in reeds. It's just not working for me. So that's the struggle when you go to a new place is trying to figure out exactly where the best place is. And sometimes that just takes time. And that's why it's important to scout out places and. Got 
this nice orange background. Oh, this is just gorgeous. So we've got little crakes in front of us. We've got herons flying around, reed warblers singing. I think I've got some really nice shots. <laughs> I'm a little bit wet and muddy, but it's all totally worth it. It's obviously a lot of food here for them. That's why there's just so many crakes here. It's kind of the perfect conditions. You've got a lot of bugs and very low water levels, mud, just perfect. It's crazy, I can count one, two, three, four, five crakes right here. All right, I think I've probably photographed enough crakes for this morning, so what we might do is go and try and find these superb parrots. We'll just walk around and hopefully we'll stumble across them feeding somewhere. Uh, fingers crossed. But what a wonderful start to the morning. I could not be happier with the photos. Like, I know they're not a pretty bird, but for some reason I like them. I like this style of photography because you can just lay there, they come to you. It's not that difficult as in you're not trying to, you know, follow them through the bush or shoot up. They're right here. All you need to do is just lay down, wait, and you get these amazing shots right in front of you, which is just awesome. The key, of course, is just to try to get them isolated with a nice background. I go on about it, but that's what it's all about. I had a lot of fun with the big 500. It's definitely uh, <laughs> such a nice lens and I'm sure we've got some really good shots with it. It's a bit hard for me to leave, to be honest, but I think we need to. Oh, check out the state of my knees. Alrighty, so I've left where I was and I'm walking back through the bush and I can hear a flycatcher and the flycatcher was just hopping around here. I got a couple of shots, but really they're not very good. But just to show you what the bird looks like, I'll put it up. Oh, can you hear it? It's up here. It's coming this way. If you listen, you'll hear its distinct call. There's quite a few white wing chuffs about, and I got a headshot of the chuff. They've got this, this very distinct red eye that um, stands out, so. Not a pretty bird, but you gotta love that big red eye, that's for sure. Forget how heavy this lens is. <laughs> it's definitely hard work hand holding this for long periods. I'm so used to our lighter lenses now that <laughs> it's definitely a bit of a bummer. I, mean, I think this is about four kilos in total. It doesn't sound that much, but when you hold it for long periods, it definitely gets tough. I didn't get a very good shot of that uh, flycatcher. Just keeps moving, which is making life difficult. We might keep walking and try and see if we can find these parrots. That is a superb parrot in the tree. I was walking past and it's sitting there. I'm gonna try and get a photo. Oh, that is beautiful. Just got photos of a superb parrot. One of Australia's most beautiful birds. Unfortunately, it's got a shadow under its 
body. I've only really photographed these once before. So I'm stoked to see it. There's a reason they gave it the name Superb, that's for sure. I think this might be a young male. Oh, so the parrot's flown off. I'm not sure exactly where it's gone. I'm hoping that it will come back. for a little walk and see if we can find it. <laughs> We've got a uh, eastern rosella. Very, very flighty, unfortunately. Making it difficult. I've wandered about trying to look for that parrot again, but no luck, unfortunately. I think I just got very lucky then to get the shot. It was just in a tree, got a few photos. Problem is I've taken that photo. I now want a better photo. So <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be happy until I get that shot. All right, so I've been walking for about half an hour. The sun's getting up, I'm getting hot. My arms are getting tired carrying this lens around with me. It's a trade-off, isn't it? Like I really enjoy the IQ, the image quality is just superb, but trying to hand hold it and walk around, it's just very cumbersome. Um, I much prefer the lighter lenses, but it's a trade-off, isn't it? Do we want the quality or do we want the, the lighter lenses? Um, but overall, a very successful morning. I love that crake session. I just love little crakes and we got lots of photos, hopefully three good photos of those different species. Uh, we got very lucky with that superb parrot on the way back. Not the best photo, unfortunately, but at least you get to see what it looks like. So overall, I enjoyed using my Canon. I didn't miss it, but I didn't miss the weight. But overall, a wonderful session. Uh, if you enjoyed it, obviously give it that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And thanks to all my beautiful members that support me directly. There's a little join button under the video for less than the price of a cup of coffee per month. It directly supports me to get out and make these videos. So thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Happy birding. See you later.